it. There it comes to be. And so these bees, I know of, have been in this, these wooden boxes over here for a 10 years minimum. Oh shit, look at that actually. That one's full too. Yeah. Look at that, they're going down, dropping directly down in there. I'm going to stand up on this. Up on there, yep. If you dare. I will in a bee suit. Well put, my love. Oh, have you done this before, Amanda? I think all four of these are full, potentially. I just heard that, so I don't like that. But we Oops. know how they are. Right uh, here, where I'm standing, is a flight path. Oh, great. Just Lovely. FYI. Oh, yeah, I see them coming in right over your head. As yep. Well. In fact, if you look here, and you see them coming in, see them? There's one right there, there's another one just from We know what's going on now. We have a plan of attack, and those two damn hives are too close together. It's going to be, uh, one gets riled up, they all get riled up. You get anxious, you get excited. I do when I'm <laughs> trying, when I'm getting ready. And until every, like all my personal equipment is ready and packed. And then I, and then I can just relax into it. Mm. Relax. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. You no, know, my first week with him, I never knew what to expect. Yeah. I had no idea. And I just, just went with it, go with the flow and have fun. Yeah, it's been fun. I mean, I, I, I could try to criticize, but I'm trying to do the same thing. So, <laughs> relax. trying to relax. Just go with the flow. How's that not working out for you? That's fine. All right, we're going to put up some uh, some police tape. We don't use caution tape anymore. We use peligro. We use danger tape. Because that caution tape just don't work. And boy, this stuff is impervious. Nobody can get through this. Anyway, it looks better. So we're going to string a line across here so the people coming from the RV park won't just come waltzing all to, over this way. Also for protection about looking loose, we're going to have Roger sitting in his vehicle to go and chase him off if anybody gets near. So uh, Julio and I are going to run this tape right now. Let's go ahead and tie it off over here. Never seen that before. A couch out in the yard? Not in Arizona. <laughs> A couch out in the yard. You wouldn't believe how many beehives we removed from couches out in the yard. Out oh, I believe it. Yep. Anything you can imagine people have in the yards in the desert, use your imagination. Everybody taped up. Right. I think we should go with the. Uh, let's bring a spray adhesive just in case. Oh, yeah, we got that. I have uh, some spray adhesive, some foam. Oh, I'm in, in your, your right hand here. Oh, it's uh, That's a dental tool. It's actually doubles for vasectomy. Okay, I'm just kidding. How about safe ducks? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, it works pretty good. Not really. Yeah. You guys have some heavy duty equipment here. This isn't just uh, nets and fly swatters. What, what, are we, what are we taking over here? We use really good equipment uh, because equipment failure in the field is just fucking stupid doing this shit. You can't. I mean, a pry bar is probably not going to fail, and a hammer is not going to fail, but your equipment, your power equipment has to be serious. So we have um, Sawzall. We have this beautiful Sawzall that we use, and this thing with the right blade will just cut through anything. We have drills. We have a complete set of this stuff. And we got pry bars and hammers to pull stuff apart. Because we never know on each job what we're getting into. It was like that holy shit beast job. Uh, I was going to do that alone. We were both sick as dogs, and I was like, honey, don't even worry about it. You go to bed, um, it's just a tire. I'll roll it into a bag and throw it in the back of the truck, just like we always do. Well, you see, it was all hell broke loose. It was four tires full of comb. I would have died. So we, we don't do it alone anymore, and we bring the best equipment that we can find and uh, and do the buddy system. So Because we never know what the hell we're getting into. Now you can feel the sun. It's starting to warm up a bit. Right uh, here, and hope it holds. Or, what do you think, Julio, we can just cut this open right here and leave these support beams here? Yeah. I think that might be the way to do it, just just to leave the support here, because this thing on top... Yeah, it's can, pretty heavy. Oh, man, weighs a, a two-ton or something. These have uh, collapsible gas tanks in them. Why couldn't you guys be up here? Really? So, anyway, this cold, and they're just, they don't really know we're here yet, but they will in a little bit. So, this is... Oh, and they're going in through here. Yeah, okay, just another entrance. But the old hive, the original hive, that was too big of a gap for them. They didn't like how big that gap was so that an enemy could get in easier. So they closed it up and make their own size holes. Wow. So that's literally what they did there. And you see that with really old hives. You see how thick that is, how dark that is? 
Yeah, this is an old hive. So, I think that what we're going to do is, uh, have you got a pry bar? Yes, and we got to be real careful about this. All right. So, oh my god, there it is, yep. And here they come. Yep, yep. Oh boy, now they know we're here. Is Roger still out? No. Okay, I'm going to set this off. Oh yeah, oh look at that, there's the comb. Oh, and a buttload of it. You might have to pry from down below, down the side a little further. And keep an eye on this for structural. I think we're okay. Oh yeah, see the comb? You want to get in here? So there is a huge Africanized wild hive. Oh yeah. Here they come. You know what? Yeah. You want to move back? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna put on a structure to get this. Oh boy, this is a superman. Yep, you got to be all right. You're looking good so far. You know what? Let's get the saws off and cut it right down there. Yep. And uh, I'm gonna get on the other side of you. Oh shit. <laughs> There's the hike. What are we looking at, Reed? Is this meeting your expectations? Uh, actually, yes. Even in this kind of weather, these guys are aggressive as hell. Um, wow, look at that shit, will you? Look at that shit, will you? And then if there's any honey in here, we'll be uh, eating a couple of buckets for sure. Wow. All right, yeah, this is, this is a dangerous, dangerous hike. Normal hive has 50,000 bees in it. Now this time of year, uh, it might have 30 or 40,000, but I want to just do a little bit of, show you what's going on. This is very brittle. This was full of honey a month or two ago, and the bees have been eating on it. So it's very crisp and brittle right now. We're going to see if we can get any honey out of this deal. This time of year, it's iffy. It might be full, it might not. And actually, we've had hives that at the right time of year and everything that should have been completely full, didn't have anything in it. It doesn't make any sense. There's no rhyme or reason to it. So we all we can do is hope for the best. But these guys are obviously aggressive. I can smell the venom. Can you smell the venom? I don't know. I wouldn't know what it smells like. Very musky. It's not a. Uh, it's not unpleasant, except for the you know what it can do to you. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, I think it'll be better. It'll be stronger. I think. No, you're totally fine. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh yeah. Oh honey, this is your domain. Oh look at black widows everywhere. Lovely. Oh yeah. Thank you. Alright. So, I'm going to suggest that you get down here and look up. That is wild Africanized killer bees. And that's honey. Right there, those caps that are filled. So the empty caps, see it's all of these here? Each one of these little cells is a canning jar for bees. And so this is honey. This is beautiful des wild desert honey. This is the rarest honey in the world right here because it's Africanized killer bee comb. I'm getting that smell very strong now. Yep, that's venom. That's venom. They're attacking your camera because it's black. They're attacking your lens over here, your mm -hmm. eyepiece, because of, your, yeah, it's going to be real strong. So this is honey. You see that little hole right there? That's a doorway. They make their own doorways so they don't have to go all the way to the outside of the hive to go to the next panel. Isn't that amazing? They make their own doorways. So, uh, this is good one. Honey? No, not you. <laughs> Uh, and there's the comb that has fallen down over the years, and even if comb falls down, they still take it. Be careful with um, putting your nose against it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Aww. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and watch out for the barbed wire behind you. Got you. One of the wrong doors. Ah. Anyway, all right, I'm going to cut some more. You want to cut some comb, hon? Um, sure. Or do you want a, or do you want a camera? It's up to you. Whatever you think. Whatever you guys need me to do. Oh, whatever would be more fun. Here, I want you to put some comb. 
I don't care when you do it, but I would like to see a little bit of you working with the crew and not just filming, you know, just for, for my footage. Okay. I don't care when, though. It doesn't have to be. Over time. See you. <laughs> All right, honey, yeah, I'm going to switch places with you. It's beautiful. It's very easy to work with compared to some of the shit you do. I mean, the, the light, the light. Okay. something. I'm gonna operate something. Get them working. Look at that. Oh, that's amazing. Look at that. See if they're going through it right now. Okay. Yeah, there it comes a bee. Yeah, and that's their doorway, so they don't have to go all the way around. Alright, I'll be done. Okay. Alright, honey, you ready? Yeah. Alright, here we go. That one right there, that perfect door, right there. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's a lot of honeycomb. <laughs> look at that. Beautiful. Mm. This is pure treasure right here for us. It's the most dangerous treasure in the world. There's gold in them, there boxes. <laughs> what are you doing? My Good. net was just getting a little close. <laughs> <laughs> like, holy shit, close. <laughs> oh, Thank sweet you. Oh, I got it. Yeah, you are, but the comb looks nice, too. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, sweetheart, you are getting a treasure. Oh my god, this is beautiful. This is not every day, huh? Oh god, no. Oh god, no. I mean, there is so much more in here. And it goes back, how far does it go back? Four feet, honey? No way, really? Oh. Three. No Three way, that feet. far down? Oh. We're gonna need another one. Oh darn. We're gonna need more containers. <laughs> <laughs> oh darn. <laughs> There's some old stuff. You talking about me, hon? <laughs> Is it a hot stuff? Ah, stay in the life. Hey. Next to impossible, yeah. Will you look for the uh, putty knife? Yep, right here. Thank you. Because... Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to... Now, if you want to cut it... Holy shit, look at this. Side. No, yeah, it's this is gonna be a big piece coming out. Oh, this piece that. coming out. I have money on my hand, so I'm not gonna touch my front the camera. Holy shit. Need me to move? Uh at some point. Raise the babies. And a lot of times they do it in this circular or oval pattern. Nobody knows why. It's so cool, isn't it? It's just nobody knows why. Here's a very interesting thing. This is a queen cell right here. This is another queen cell right here. You see how big those cells are? Right there? Uh -huh. That's where a queen was born. Wow. That's how big the queens are. And so, the multiple queens? Um, in Africanized hives, we have seen multiple queens, which is really unheard of with European hives. But with Africanized hives, we've definitely seen it. Now, a queen will be born, up to 30 queens will be born in a year in Africanized hives. They, they, they stay in the hive while the old queen takes off with the swarm. And so this is another way that your nice hive can become Africanized. Do we have another putty knife? Thank you. I'm, I'm busy filming you anyways if you want to use this. Oh, never no, mind. No, that's right, sweetheart. I'm just going to separate it up. This is honey and brood. we got to separate it. It looks like it will be a couple hundred pounds, which is a good haul. We have seen, uh, I think the most I ever got was 800. Yeah, I don't know. Am I on the right foot? Okay. Yes. White. Perfect. Is that good, hon? You're perfect right there. Okay. Wow, that's so beautiful. Amazing. Another huge piece, honey? Yes. Right. Incoming. Okay. You got it? Alright. Wow. Look at that. Here you go, Reed. Oh my god, look at that. And I just want 
bite okay. this piece. There's two pieces there that you cut. You want a flashlight? This is where my hand is, about three feet. Uh, yeah, about two and a half, three. Yeah. About three feet. Is that the end of it? Yep. Okay, no problem. You got no key? No. good to the end. bit and because the last thing I want to do is ruin anybody's shit, you know? Oh, shit. Meaner one. Go. oh my god, meaner. Oh, these guys are mean. These guys are mean. Oh shit. Yeah, this is kind of a cluster because we got all sorts of shit in the way here of our removal. And it can't, because of the structural integrity of this, how this is sitting, I don't want to cut like this 2 by 4 so I've got to reach up in there. This is all pollen. There's a little bit of brood there that gets tossed. But i got to find out where the bulk of the hive is and I'm afraid it's over here. Thank you, with my arm, and of course I do this a lot where I'm reaching in to the unknown. Okay, go back as far as my arm is. Pretty. See, I've already eaten all that. That would have been full. I got pretty sure of it. Uh, Julio, do we have any of those actual spade bits for the drill? Uh, the ones that uh, that we usually use for drilling holes. Yeah, because that one didn't work. You got to want to get bigger holes so I can cut this a little bit easier. Can you see where that goes back in there, hon? Yeah, will you shine the light? Yeah. Thank you. Um. Too many angles and too many. Each job is so different and has too much to offer. Like even avoiding cutting into something or electrical lines in wool. I've cut into way too many of them. I've my left and I don't like it. There we go. Okay, battery pack on the sawzall. Now we can see what we're getting into with this little fucker. Real careful. Flashlight. Got it. Sorry. Thank you. I'm okay. afraid to uh, do this down here because I don't know where this thing is. Uh, have we got, oh, you got a press one? I'll take it. Ooh. Excellent. Oh, that's a good one. Everything in the field. Oh, yeah. Fix shit, flat tires, because nobody's going to stop and help you. <laughs> now, of course, you can't see what the fuck you're doing either. Honey, can I have you that flashlight right on? Thank you. I can't see what I'm doing. Yep. Say that again? There's yeah. The hive's defeated already. Yeah, it's calmed down already. Yeah. This one right here? It was, it was kicking uh, The one with the red thing. handle. Mm-hmm. For a minute. But right there in the bucket. Doesn't seem in like the black bucket, the red, red handle. Yeah. It's a
hit it. Rats are chewing through that shit. Now we can see what we're getting into. Well, yep, it goes all the way there, and that's about it. Nasty. Nasty. <laughs> hey, yes. Yeah, that is nasty. Uh, okay, putty knife time and a, and a bucket, and I'll start cutting some foam. Okay. Beautiful, huh? Now see, when their bees are in emergency mode, you can see them all sucking it up. Same thing used to happen with a smoker. You can see them sucking it right there. See that? You getting that, hon? Can you get yeah. see, see that, honey? Where the light is? Yep. They're like at the trough. They're at the bar. Those bees are sucking it up. Okay. I'm trying to keep you from getting it, huh? Well, that part of it. When bees, the whole thing with smoke was, over the eons, bees learned that if there was smoke, there might be fire. And they will gorge themselves on honey in case they can leave the hive. If they have a choice, they will not go down with the ship. They will go start a new hive somewhere else. Honey is not only their food, it's their building materials. All right? They make beeswax out of honey. Within themselves, they distill it. Gotcha. And so it takes about seven pounds of honey to make one pound of wax. So they gorge themselves on honey in case they have to leave. Now, we're a huge threat, obviously. And so they are gorging themselves on honey in case they can leave the hive and go start a new hive somewhere else. Well, that ain't going to happen because we're going to interrupt their little fest right now. Uh, do we have that putty knife? Yes, sir. Right here. Thank you. All right, and I'll be handing you goodies. All right, they're on the right. Pretty straightforward, huh? Pardon? Where are you going to be scraping? All right, up here. Okay. I'm just getting the light so I can see it. Gotcha. So, maybe. Hold it. Why don't I hold it? Okay. I'll double fist it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, here we go. Now we're going to get a bunch of bees because they've all, all been hunkered up in the, in the uh, hive. And we're going to get a shitload of bees now. Ooh, heavy. Sorry, you can't see where I'm shining. No, I can't, I can't see what I'm doing either. <laughs> honey, honey. See, the, some of the places that we get into are just a fucking nightmare. As far as even, you can't see what you're doing. You can't feel what you're doing because of the, the comb, because of the gloves. And you don't take your gloves off. Well, you do once. And then hopefully you'll learn your lesson. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> A lot of things you do once in this business. Thank you. Oh, man. Oh, man. Out look at all. Honey, look at that pollen. That's holy shit pollen. That's crazy. There's a door right there. A big old door. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my god, that pollen. This is Superman food. Literally. And dealing with really cool Mother Nature. This is Mother Nature at her worst and best all at the same time. And dealing with this shit really makes you realize how little we know. Right. And being the so-called expert and shit like that. <laughs> all I know is how to stay alive. Is that right? Excited? Mm -hmm. but there's still so much unknown? Oh my god, incredible. It gets me up in the morning. It's just, what are we going to get into today? I mean, it's kind of dangerous, but what am I going to learn? Let me get up in there close. Okay. <laughs> Glory, hallelujah. I have seen them build in an old closet, in an old trailer, out in the desert, that still had the old man called cowboy's clothes in it. And the bees built in the closet, around the clothes. I mean, like the pockets had comb in them. They didn't move the clothes, but they attached all of the comb to the clothes. Wow. So there is like a sleeve that had comb all around it, built all around it. And the, I don't know if you knew it, the Egyptians learned how to mummify from bees. Yep. So, we have, if bees, oh my God, look at that. So, if bees, if, a, if something, a foreign thing gets into the beehive, like a, uh, another bee, they'll kill it and take it out. But if it's uh -huh. too big to take out, like a rat, they will embalm it. Whoa. They will literally embalm it so that it doesn't even stink. And they do that with propolis, which is tree sap and honey. 
And the Egyptians learned how to do that from bees uh, because when they examine the mummies, one of a couple, there's a drone bee right there, that big fat job right there. Yeah. That's a male. That's a male right there. They don't even sting. They sure are a lot of fun. You get a handful of them because they can't sting. So, uh, propolis, which is tree sap, will preserve shit forever. So, we have found actually mummified shit in beehives. Well, I think I'm getting down to the end here, honey. Would you look in there with a the flashlight and see how good I am? Mm -hmm. I meant how far I am. I know how good I am. Just completely. Yeah, we still got the last bit. Okay, how far? Let me get it. So the drones are a little odd because they can't even feed themselves. They're the only bees that can bar hop. They go from hive to hive. They go into any hive they want, no matter which hive they're from. And since they can't even feed themselves, they'll go in, get fed, go back out, and fly around in a spiral with a few hundred of their buddies about 100 yards to 200 yards straight up in the air. That's why you never see them. <laughs> Snipping the air for the scent of a queen on her mating flight. When when the new queen goes on her mating flight, one mating flight, she'll mate with two or three dozen drones in midair mostly. And when they mate with her, they literally explode and leave their genitalia in her and die.